Hey friends, welcome back. Today, yes, once again, we are heading to a repipe in a mobile home. And this is gonna be fun because I'm gonna spend most of the day on my back under a trailer. <laughs> First day of June 2021, and about a year or so ago, I did the exact kind of video, but I decided it was time to freshen everybody up on how it's done. The customer had a choice between us using PEX piping or CPVC, but because of cost, we're gonna be doing this with CPVC. All right, so we've arrived at a 55 and older community and we are getting ready to take our water heater out that's up in the cut there because it's bad. You got panels up and you get up underneath there and stuff. I'll walk through it with you. We got a couple of plumbers that are on site with me. There's a total of five of us, me, my helper, another plumber and his helper and a field manager. And they figured the cost in for this job, but they didn't figure in the cost for a new water heater. The nipples are all rotted off on the top, so he's gone in there to tell him that. Let me get a few things together and let's get started and uh, see what we're looking at underneath. It's only 9 a.m. and it's over 80 degrees. <laughs> It'll be cool underneath though. Now this mobile home is equipped with two bathrooms, a laundry, and a kitchen. All the plumbing is going to be over here on this side except for the kitchen, which is over here on this end. So I've got to get up underneath there. We're going to have to cut some of the underlayment to get to the floorboards and all that good stuff. The water heater is draining right now and um, takes a little bit to get these repipes started, but once we get up underneath there, things will start rolling. Let's have a look up underneath here, see what we look like. Yeah, there is some room. Started laying out some three quarter inch pipe along this wall, which got most of the plumbing. Um, yeah. Yeah, ain't too bad down here. Polybutylene checks. Uh -huh. All right, so I got two three quarter inch CPBC lines right along the top rail here which we're going to be zip tying down. Now, how do we decipher where our plumbing fixtures are? Well, just follow the drain pipes, all right? And that's where you're going to find your toilets and your showers and your lavatories and all that other good stuff. water leaking out up under there listen down there you'll see an exhaust vent that's where our laundry is right there is the drain so somewhere in there we have to open up that part of the ceiling so they can put me some drops down here and i can tie them in for the laundry and then straight across the other side is where the kitchen is uh. Okay, so this is going up for the toilet and the second bath up in here. That's where our laundry lines are coming up through. These pipes are in terrible shape. Old Pex polybutylene crap. All right, now we kind of know where everything in this area is. All right, so I had to get out from underneath there for a few minutes uh, just to get my senses to me. 
Uh, most of the areas that I need to get into or for the guy, the plumber on top, to drop his lines down to me, they're open. There's been a lot of repairs over the years made on this trailer. That's why we're doing a repipe. So a lot of the underlayment and the vapor barrier is already gone. Uh, the homeowner already knows they're going to have to have somebody come back in and put all new vapor barrier in there. So I'm not worried about what I cut out of there. Tight. Got to go between this beam. Uh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh God. All right, so underneath the water heater compartment, this is where all the magic happens. That's the water main feed coming in from the meter. And back when they did these, it was required to have a backflow check valve. That thing's coming out. It's not necessary any longer. We're gonna cut this out. At this point, we're gonna convert this line over to CPVC, and this is where everything is going to be ran for the water system. All right, so at this point, what we need to do is we need to transition this main that's gonna feed the trailer from PVC to CPVC. I have a brass ball valve. One end is equipped with a three quarter inch PVC male adapter and a brass by CPVC male adapter. We're gonna glue this end down and establish a shutoff right at this point. There we go, we're established with a shutoff valve ready to go. Now we can tie everything in to that area. Time to run some more piping. Okay, so my plumber up top has dropped down a line. See how they're doing it for me. You look across there, there's two lines that are dropped down for the lavatory as well. These are the lines that are all gonna get picked up. And anything that has any kind of a marker on it, a color is marked as hot. Okay, so there's our T. I put one in there right after the shot off valve. This is gonna be the cold coming in to feed the rest of it. I've got a piece of pipe we're glue in there. We're gonna bring it in towards the middle where I pick up the main trunk lines. All right, here's the line. It's cold, hot, and you put a T in right here, and that's going to be for south to north, hitting all the fixtures down along the way. Right, we took a break for lunch and came back, and it absolutely poured rain. I have a towel sitting over all my tools. It's time to get back underneath there and run some more pipe. All right, so here's where we're at. There are two lines that are coming from water main, where the water heater is coming in, to our main trunk line. Shooting back over there to this part of the bathroom, uh, I've got a lavatory, a toilet, and a Roman tub to pick up back in that area. There's the lavatory drops right there. And as we follow on down through is where we're going to pick up the other bathroom and the laundry. We still have to go all the way to the other side with two half inch lines to service the kitchen. This main fitting, I'm going to be using a lot of these, the three quarter, three quarter half, to tie into the main lines to run over and pick up our different fixtures all along this trunk line. Tight area. Ugh. Okay, 
hey, we're on the other side of the house where the kitchen is. They dropped two lines for me. These are my last two tie-ins. Let me show you what I had to go through to get here. It's a big AC duct sitting over there. And those lines, I had to crawl all the way over there. But we got them over here. Let's make our last two tie-ins, fasten everything down, and get out of here. All right, so we had kind of a little bit of a tense moment. I was back underneath here, and my partner outside yelled, said, Tim, there's a snake that just got in. I just watched him come in. So I'm in up underneath this mobile home and there is a snake. I don't know what kind, how big he is. I don't care. Let's get this done and get the hell up out of here. All right, the last of our glue joints are done. That's all the stuff we did earlier that comes from the water heater and two bathrooms. That's the laundry. And there's my two lines that are leading over to the bathroom. 30 minutes for the glue to dry. Let's get up out of here. <laughs> Wow, I feel like I was just giving birth to. <laughs> I am absolutely filthy all the way up and down my body. I can't wait to get home and take a shower. Got 30 minutes for that glue to dry. We test everything and we're done. You can see the water heater got put in as well. There is not an expansion tank on here because uh, CPVC is kind of flimsy. So we put an inline check valve that's connected to the pressure release valve down into the pan. I'll show you how to put one of those in another day. The time of truth. Time to get the water onto the house, see if we've got any leaks. There we go. Got some guys inside that are opening up faucets, get all the debris and stuff out. There we go. Looks good at this point. Everything's up to them on the other side. I have no doubt that I, all my glue joints are good. It's just a matter of if it's leaking upstairs or not. Everything on the cold side inside looks great. Now it's time for us to fill this water heater up. Heater is full of water. Everything down in this area, I don't see any kind of water drop, dripping or anything. I'm gonna wait till everything is fully pressurized and we'll go out and we'll check the meter and make sure it ain't running. All right, no leaks. Panels all back on, water heater back into place. Everybody's happy. Hey, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. You guys have seen me do this before, but I figured I'd give you a rewind of another fun and adventurous day underneath the trailer. Everything went off without a hitch, no leaks, happy customer, and we got it done in one day. Got any questions, leave them down below, and don't forget to keep plumbing.